As Egypt tries to address this issue, the British government launched an international protocol to end sexual violence. In London, the move comes on the second day of a major summit on sexual violence, billed as the biggest of its kind. CCTV's Dan Whitehead reports. Experts working in some of the world's most war-torn countries were in London on Wednesday, sharing and debating just how sexual violence can be stopped. The face of this summit, UN envoy Angelina Jolie, remained in the spotlight, her celebrity bringing much-needed attention to the issue. Angelina, are you pleased with how it's going? I am. Excellent. The high-level diplomatic talks are yet to start, but there is a sense of progress here. Ministers and government officials arrive on Thursday. Today, it's about the experts and the launch of the international protocol. Essentially, it's a checklist of what governments have to do to eradicate sexual violence. Protecting victims, investigating sexual violence as an international crime and better documentation are elements in this protocol. The British Foreign Secretary, William Hague, wants the document to become a blueprint for tackling sexual violence worldwide. If all countries applied these standards, then it will greatly strengthen prosecutions for rape in conflict and help to secure a dramatic increase in successful convictions. For those who work with victims, there needs to be more than just legislation. They say ensuring help is available both before and after conflict is crucial. The horror starts after the conflict because once you face it during conflict, it's something that you have to live with because society is not prepared, is not fully, fully prepared and equipped to bring you back into a smooth life. So it's either you battle on your own or you're fortunate enough to have a system that protects you. And for now, systems like that are very, are very, very rare. Thursday, we'll see ministers and government officials from around the world gather to discuss implementing this protocol. A sideline summit will also be held among African ministers and the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry to discuss how to tackle the growing threat of Boko Haram. Dan Whitehead, CCTV, London.